Saya. Yeah. Saya, guess. Hold on, but guess what? what? I need to get your reaction. Oh, I just found this, y'all. Guess what? What? Daddy's coming home. And I'm so glad I got you. I love the things that we do. We, do. we a family together. Yo, what it is, Beam Squad? It's your girl Eva back with another video. I feel like it's so loud out here. Can you guys hear me? Comment in the comment section. Could y'all hear me or is it loud? I think the pool's kind of loud. This right here, I think I should shut this up. Let me see real quick if I can make that be quiet because I really want to get like a nice scenery going on in today's video because a lot of goodness should be coming, God willing. So, oh, spiders. Oh, oh, spider webs. Oh, oh no. What should I touch? Don't know what this is. Air blower. So, oh, pool lights. Oh, we got lights. I didn't know we had lights. Wow. Maybe we could have lights at nighttime. I didn't know we had that. Heater. Oh, we have it. Oh, yeah, the heater is broken. Pool time. Okay. So, it's. Oh. Did I turn it on or off? Let's see. Nothing happened. What? Nothing happened. Two thousand years later. I got it to work. It's off now. So you guys, I have a great video. You guys saw last video. I told y'all Billy sent a letter, and I already know y'all waiting as y'all read for the title. His official release date is in that letter. He told me not to open the letter, and I gotta read it with you guys. So, are you guys ready? I chose a beautiful scenery so we can read this, and hopefully, some some good positive vibes will bring some good positive news in this letter. So y'all, before we go ahead and open this letter, let's pray. Please Heavenly Father, make some good news come out of this. Please, Lord. Thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for taking care of all the children of the world. Please. I don't really know how to pray, y'all. In the name of God, amen. All right. <clears throat> all right, guys. Here we go. Oh, look at Billy's handwriting. He doesn't, I mean, he doesn't have the worst handwriting, but it isn't the best. What? Like this video, subscribe if you're new, turn your post notifications on so you guys can be notified when the next video comes. This is about to be serious, y'all. Let me go ahead and read it. Letter to Beam Squad. He wrote this February 10th, 2021. What it is, Beam Squad? It's your boy, Billy B. Bruh. I can't wait to say that to you guys again. I really miss you guys, and I want to write this letter to let you guys know how I'm doing, what's my routine like in here, what programs I've been taking, and most importantly, when I'll be released from here. I think I'm about to skip to when I'll be released from here. First off, I want to thank my beautiful Queen Eva for holding us down. Lord knows if I did anything right in my life, it will be choosing you. Aww, I love you so much and can't wait to hold you in my arms again. I miss you so much. Let's start off with how I'm doing. I'm booling. You know what I'm saying? Hello. Let me read that correctly. Okay, I'm booling. You know what I'm saying? Hello. That's how he talk. No, that's not. That's not how he said. He would have been like, I'm booling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how he would have said it. But the first three months was a mental challenge because you know I wasn't used to this lifestyle. And on top of that, it's the worst time to be in prison because of the COVID. They've been on lockdown for months before I even got here. And we just literally sit here in the unit all day. But just recently they started giving each unit one hour, 30 minutes outside that helps the day move a little quicker. They're limited on jobs and programs. Also basically they have them, damn that's boring. So manage, imagine being in there and you just sitting. Don't nobody want to do that? Let me shut up. I still got to do my time. So I don't want to say nothing that might hurt me. But I was able to get, oh, so he said he, they're limited on jobs and programs, but he was able to get one like two months ago. I was a visitation orderly, literally for one day, kid. They never called me and my boy back the following week. Hello, I don't know what we did. <laughs> how I get fired from a prison job? That's how you know y'all ain't meant to be workers. But with programming, there's not much either. I took two, two drug classes. The first one was mandatory. The second one I took was to help me bring my score down to minimum so that I could get put in for the COVID release. And plus, it gets me out the unit for an extra hour and a half. Um, the COVID release thing is like, I think 
they're letting people go on home confinement because of COVID. So apparently in feds, you don't do the whole 100%. Sometimes you do 85% if you do good. And if you do some programs, you could get less time than that. So that's what I'm hoping we get in this letter today. All right, so let's get down to, to my routine. Monday through Friday, I wake up 5, 5.30 in the morning. I go wash my face, brush my teeth. Once I'm done, I read a book and go to my cube, fix my bed, clean my area, put on my workout gear, work out to about 7 a.m. And while I'm working out, Breakfast Club comes on from like 6 to 10 a.m. in the morning. That's my entertainment. Big shout out to Breakfast Club. That's what really keeps me going in the morning. Shout out to Charlemagne. I've read both your books, two incredible books, my brother. Thanks for the wise words. Charlemagne, if you happen to watch my videos, thanks for the wise words. So dang, he wakes up at five in the morning. Billy be telling me that he wants me to follow his routine. Like when he get out, we gonna be doing his routine. And don't nobody, nobody's gonna do that. Like five in the morning, just working out till seven in the morning. I actually know some people like um, Quinn from Lee Family. He actually wakes up around five in the morning and goes to the gym. I be going on Instagram and I see him in the gym. I don't know what's up with people like that. Like why do men like waking up early? Billy used to wake up early, but not that early. Next page, I'm ready to get to the good stuff. So after I'm done with my workout, I'll make me a small breakfast to eat, take a quick shower. After that, I'll read a book, take a quick nap before they call us for lunch which is around 10.50 10 a.m. Damn, that's early. Y'all probably wonder what the hell I eat in here. Well, when you're in prison, you gotta improvise and things change, so you gotta survive. After six to seven years of not eating meat, I went back to eating chicken. I knew it, and that's why I started eating meat, y'all, because I know what I gotta go through in the future. I'm definitely gonna be eating chicken, and I ain't, I'm not a picky person, I eat. I already knew Billy was gonna be the pickiest person ever. I went back to eating chicken. No beef though, just chicken. Bruh, yeah. I'd be eating anything. Bruh, shit was getting real, so I had to, LOL. He make it seem like it's so illegal to eat chicken, but it's nothing. Welcome back. I know we tried the pescatarian life for a while. It didn't work out for us too much. Well, it didn't work out for me. All right, let me continue. But some of the food they feed us in here is not that bad. The day I really eat is be on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. Other days, I just make me some noodles, some fish wrap, or oatmeal. So by this time, it's like 11.30. I'll go and call my wife to see how she's been doing the day before. We'll talk for like 15 minutes, and that will be it for the day. I know, just 15 minutes every day, y'all. I'll head back to the queue, grab me a book, read for a bit, talk to some friends, and then they call us to walk the park. I listen to music till like 3 p.m. and wait for count to, oh, wait for count. To, so they can make sure that everybody is here. My thing is, why they gotta count? And where everybody gonna go, things, yeah. Isn't it locked? Like, aren't the doors locked? After count, they call us for dinner. I'll eat food, if the food is good. Then I'll listen to the 5 p.m. mix on the radio, chill for the rest of the day, watch TV, lay down till 10 p.m. count, take a shower, and head straight to bed. Then the next day, I'll do it all over again. That's pretty much my day, bro. That sounds like Groundhog Day. Comment in the comment section if you ever watched Groundhog Day. That's like when you live the same day over and over and over again. That would give me anxiety. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we are. I think we're at the last part, y'all. Well, let's get to it, baby. The moment you all been waiting for. When will I be released? Drum roll, please. <laughs> August 4th, 2021. That's the day I'll be able to see my family again. But that's not my full release date. That's the that's the day where I go to. Okay, listen. All right, y'all. April, May, June, July. Yo, we literally have three months. No, no. Guys, I don't know. Hold on. All right, you guys. Y'all don't understand. Okay, I'm a little what? sizzy right now, y'all. All right, you guys. So Billy's release online says March 2022 basically and that's his release date from the system entirely that's when he goes on to probation or whatever and it'll all be over for him he coming home in August after March April May June July August I keep saying the months over and over again because it's like I gotta make sure I'm calculating right so he left in July January March and June August September October November December oh and he only really did a year two weeks and then he's going straight to a halfway house, y'all. So he's we're gonna be able to pick him up, chill with him for a little bit, and then we gotta take him to a halfway house. That's usually where you go so you can adjust to the to life again. But he really didn't unadjust to life because he was really gone for such a short period of time. Literally, he had a 24 month sentence. You only gotta do 85% of that time if you do good. And then if you got programs or whatever, it brings it down more. So he brought it down to a year and two weeks. So imagine how much time I'm gonna get. I hope I'm good. Hold on, you guys. Billy's coming home right here. Like, that's literally right there. We gotta mark our calendars. August 4th, 2021. <laughs> I gotta tell Saya this. Hold on, let me finish reading the letter, y'all. I didn't even read the full letter. Okay. 
halfway house, but when I get there, I'll get more information to see if I can finish my rest of my sentence on home confinement. Till March 25th, 2022, that's the day I'll be a free man and stay and start my probation. That's exactly what I said. Hope I've answered some of y'all questions. Yo, it's your boy Billy B. I'll be home soon. I love you guys. Gang. When all of this happen it's trust me it's a very scary situation y'all it's scary going through this situation because it's like ups and down roller coasters you don't know what's gonna happen what's not gonna happen if you're gonna lose if you're gonna win it's just a scary situation to be in that's why you make sure you do right guys and you don't gotta worry about bad karma or nothing bad happening to you so always do the right thing trust me trust me but being that i'm already here in this situation it's like scary but dang he's gonna be home soon then soon, way sooner than I thought. I was really expecting him to be home like in March. And he told me he was gonna be home in April, so he could have been home in April if he did his program stuff. But August is perfect. I get my life back again for a while. Finally. I'm tired of this. I want him to come get his kids. I miss going out like we used to, going out on dates. I miss not being the only one taking care of these kids at night. You know, I miss all of that. I miss him in my presence, him making me laugh. I literally have no one to talk to all day. Like I talk so much and I can't talk to no one. I be talking to Saya. Sometimes I talk too much to Saya, he gets annoyed. But now I get my best friend back and we get to just go forward again. I can't wait. Y'all mark y'all calendars to this date, August 4th. I'm going on live. Like I'm definitely going on live. I'm gonna pick Billy up. I'm gonna go get him. I gotta tell Billy, I gotta tell Saya this good news. Oh, this is epic. Saya. Yeah. Saya, guess? Hold on, guess what? what? I need to get your reaction. Oh, I just found this, y'all. Guess what? What? Daddy's coming home. Why are you holding it, too? You just see me. Just because I'm holding it, I have good news. I have good news. First of all, why is this room this trashy, bruh? This is such good news, you're going to want to get sprayed. All right, fine. We can spray each other. I don't even care right now. Daddy's coming home August 4th. You want, you want. All right, I'm putting your hair, it's gonna stop. Did you just say my crusty toes? Did you hear me, yo? Yeah. Stop. What did I say? You said my dad's coming home on August 14th. I said August 4th. How long is that from now? That's like two months. Nope. Is it really, Cap? What month are we in now? April. So when is August? In two months, three months. Oh, sorry, I wasn't even recording him, guys. I got all this stuff on me, look at this. Gosh, it's so much on you guys. Look, hold on. Look at this. You got it all over the recording stuff. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on guys, I'll be back. You guys, please excuse us. We just had a string fight. What are you gonna do when daddy gets back? Like, we're gonna, me and dad are gonna be gaming a lot. We're gonna be going to car shows a lot. We're gonna be having so much fun. So much fun. Oh, let me show them your shirt, you guys. These are the shirts that Sai Yay. had tomorrow. I mean, t t yesterday, t this is the merch, y'all. We didn't sell it. Only the people who was at Sai's birthday party got this limited edition Super Sai concert birthday merch, whatever. But anyways, y'all, daddy's not gonna miss any other party, right? Never. Never, ever. ever. Again. Ever. But Sia, you know what you never do? What? Tell me, can you guess what you never do? Take a shower. Bruh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you never take a shower? Okay, I was gonna say you never put on lotion, lotion. You need lotion for those ashy kneecaps. I'm back to daddy's subject. Daddy's gonna be home. Hold on, you thought it was two months, you said? Let me show you, baby. Three. Today is April, so Four. we got one, Five two, months. three. Saya, we literally got three months. No, you know why it's three months? Because look, it's two weeks left of April, and then there's one, two, three months, and he comes in the first week of August, but that's right there. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. <laughs> that's how that's how I feel. I feel like just stole my whole body on the floor too. I'm about, I'm about to cry more. You're not about to cry. I'm about to cry for like 16 hours, bro. I'm crying tears of joy. I'm so happy, you guys. Oh, you I feel like going to pool to celebrate. Um, the way my makeup set up and the way my hair set up, I don't think I can get in that water right now because it's kind of cold. Well, but I am. 
Oh, if you are, let's see you get lit. Oh, Sia said he about to do something epic because his daddy coming back. All right, guys, I'm about to go. All right, say one time for daddy. One time for daddy. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You did it one time for both of us because I ain't jumping in that pool. Daddy would have jumped in. Now you're going to have somebody to jump in the pool with you again. Most importantly, y'all, I be, look at him. He's literally dancing. I be really missing the vibes Billy used to give on the channel. I swear, I used to say I was the favorite. I used to always tell Billy Bay, everybody loved me more. Like, Beam Squad is Eva Squad. They love me more. And he's be like, nah, uh nah, uh And now I see all the love he's been getting, all the people who miss him. And I just see how different it is on the channel not having somebody to talk to. So I cannot wait! So he comes home. Oh my god, I can just jump out of my body and just go into that time. Oh, I miss my baby so much, y'all. This house feels so empty without baby. Mm -hmm. But he's gonna be back. You look just like your daddy. <laughs> Good. Look at him. Oh, that's a crazy swim. That was that was a weird type of swim, bruh. bruh. You guys, before Billy left. He actually built this for me, this soccer thing, because he knew I was gonna need it for um, me and Sia's videos that week. And that was the last thing he ever did for me. Now I gotta go around picking up these things by myself with my pretty nails. Spiders might touch it, touch me and stuff. Like, I gotta do all the man stuff. I got these two to pick up and that's it. I'll do this another time. I ain't got time for that right now. My nails too cute. Comment in the comment section, are you guys excited just like me and Sia are? Oh, I don't know if I was expecting this type of news. My heart pounds, is pounding and I don't know, like I'm switching over my words. I feel like I keep repeating the same thing over and over again. I feel like I'm just not, I'm too excited. I think I should just calm down and really understand what's about to happen. Like my life is really about to change again. Like I'm gonna go, like things about to go back to how it used to be or even better. Y'all know that euphoria you get when you miss somebody? That's what I feel right now. And I know when I hug him, kiss him, squeeze him, touch him, it's gonna feel so Good! And Melly and Major. Damn, they missed their dad. Yes! The heavens. Thank you, God. Thank you, you guys, for praying. Thank you, everybody. Keep us in your prayers, guys. Your prayers are working. Everything is happening and changing. From last year, looking back, I did not think this was gonna go down the way it went down. Like, I didn't think everything was gonna be, I was gonna be able to handle everything the way that I'm handling it. I just expected this to be way more harder than this. And I'm just grateful, thankful, blessed that it's not. I got good people around me, good family, good friends. I got the best kids. I got you guys. Man, 2021 is gonna be lit. Right, Saya? Hold on. What? I didn't know what's about to oh, you gonna dive in the shallow part, bro? You savage. <laughs> so, you guys, I just wanted to come in and read that letter for y'all because that was straight from Billy B to you guys. My, I, see the moon. I already see the moon too. Have you guys ever wondered why the moon shows up in the daytime when it's not even nighttime? <laughs> Comment in the comment section if you wonder that too. Anyways, I love you, B Squad. Sia love you, Melly love you, Major love you, Messiah, I mean, B Billy love you, everybody love you. Bye -bye. We'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, and we'll see you on the... He wet me with his gook self. We'll see you on the next one. Beams while we gon' ride, making the sunshine. But in time we getting better. Ain't even when you don't try, you making my heart smile.